What's going on, Muscle Monsters? Align Gonzalez here. Just left the gym, and I thought that I would shoot this quick video for you guys. Um, if you've been following me on my Instagram page, then you know that all my content, or at least the majority of it, is geared toward helping naturally skinny guys to gain weight and build muscle. And the biggest problem I see is that most guys don't know how much they should be consuming. Not only that, but they try to overcomplicate things. So today, I'm gonna give you the simplest formula possible for ensuring that you're eating enough to gain weight and build muscle, all right? Now, don't be fooled by how simple this is. This is fail-proof if you track and adjust in the manner that I'm going to recommend, all right? So the first thing is knowing how much protein you need. I always like to aim for one gram per pound of body weight. So if you're 150 pounds, that simply means eat 150 grams of protein per day. For the fats, you wanna do about half of that. So 0 0.5 uh, times body weight in pounds. So again, if you're 150 pounds, you are going to be consuming about 75 grams of fat per day. And now the carbs, you're just going to take your body weight and multiply it by two. Okay, again, 150 pounds, that's 300 grams of carbs. This is just a starting point. Now, you're gonna consume that many calories every single day for the next week. Once you're consuming that many calories, you're gonna weigh yourself daily, all right? Every morning on an empty stomach, you're gonna mark down what you weighed that morning. All right, at the end of the week, you're gonna take all those weigh-ins and you're gonna get an average, all right? Do that for another week without changing anything. Now you're gonna compare the averages, all right? If your average has gone up, that means you're in a surplus. That means that you are in fact eating enough to gain weight and build muscle. If the average stayed the same, then all you're gonna do is increase your calories by about 250, all right? So you can either increase that by adding more carbs or more carbs and slightly more fat. I would recommend sticking to just 250 calories in the form of carbs and then continuing to repeat this process. As long as you're getting this data every week, you're gonna have what you need in order to make that quick adjustment to put you back into that surplus. So when you do stall, you'll know, okay, all I have to do is increase my calorie intake again and I'll be back in that surplus. All right, so I hope you found this helpful. If you did, click the like button below. Don't forget, I'm still giving away my 25 high calorie meal recipes for skinny guys. So if you want that, again, it's completely free. Click the link in the description. Go there, put your name and your email address. You'll get instant access to that. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.